Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, between episodes I realized I have made a grievous mistake. That grievous mistake was not figuring out that the Blackbird, uh, one of the contract series in the game, uh, pipeline construction, which is very simple, just deliver some spare parts from uh, this uh, service hub to the pipeline actually clears it out. So you remember at the start of Alaska, we came here we're like, okay, we can't go this way. And we went all the way around. Well, <laughs> that's how you clear that up. So uh, what will we will be doing? We will be still recovering the summer here. That was the original uh, goal. So we have to grab that. We'll get it as far as we can with our fuel allowance. We have about 120, yeah, 112. Uh, liters of fuel, which is, I don't think it's enough for us to actually head out and get it all the way back home. But either way, we'll get it as close as we can, and we'll probably bring in uh, a different truck and uh, clear out that pipeline and then uh, recover the Hummer. Because the problem was, the Hummer itself, if we want to recover it without going through there, we would have to do a very horrible roundabout way. But luckily enough for us, the game allows for. Hmm. Yeah, the game allows for uh, an easier option. So, let's uh, make sure we have this task accepted. There we go. Let's head down. Let's uh, winch this out. Uh, once we do recover this, it's going to be one of our vehicles. So that's cool. Uh, oh, that's... Is that actually a, a workable car? Cool. So... So basically, uh, we can use... It will actually help with uh, the towing. To be fair, let's do something else. Let's uh, drop the winch from there. Let's winch the front if we can. And we can uh, pull it uh, straight out. I'm pretty sure it'll have a better power to weight ratio and uh, be a more efficient follow car uh, going via the front. There we go. You are coming with me. matter if we uh, deliver it entirely home with uh, this one truck. Because we just have a... Uh, we'll open up that route. Oh, town. We actually have a town in this map. Cool. Let's uh, let's have a look. By the way, town actually doesn't lead towards the town, I guess. Or is this a town? <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, two houses and uh, a shack. Town. Inside our truck. Well, 
not inside, but it's a good thing I didn't hit an incline because we'd have minus one Hummer squished by uh, the rear chassis. Also should uh, be able to do oil tank delivery at some point in the future, but I think we still have to take the quest from here before we actually get it itself. I think that's really a problem uh, of level design. I really, really uh, would have wanted that most of the quests you pick up like on a natural progression, and of course that you find you know what you need to do after you pick up the quest. It does seem relatively terrible to to have to go back. I mean, you're, you're right next to the objective. You can totally winch it right now, but well, apparently you can't, or and where, well, you shouldn't between before you actually get uh, the um, the actual quest itself. So that's annoying. It's always been annoying since the first episode, but I keep yappering on about it. Let's get this upgrade. Uh, I know we uh, should be dragging the Hummer, but might as well use all of this fuel. We have enough. Suspension for Freightliner M916. I have no idea what that is, but uh, we got it, so that's ours. By the way, where did we leave that Hummer? Did it just disappear? No, it's here. Phew. Got a bit uh, scared there. Uh, let's see if we just go through this. that this was deeper than uh, than that. I mean, water isn't really a problem in the game. Uh, I mean, in terms of minus, actually, you know, the, the height of it. Because uh, you don't get any muddier mud in water than you could, you know, regularly find on land. Pipeline. Let's uh, work ourselves here. Hmm, cool. When you handbrake, it also handbrakes your leading following car. The car you're winching, I mean. Hmm, interesting. 
Either way, let's uh, shut the fire engine. Let's uh, head back to the garage. Uh, where's the garage? There we go. This is the garage. Uh, I think we got the uh, all-wheel drive for this. Right? It has all chains, high power, medium. Okay, let's use the extended medium. Let's sell this. Uh, still the stock suspension because there is no race suspension for this. Uh, Off-road gearbox, sure. And there's no better engines that we have unlocked right now. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Let's just grab this. Might as well. Our uh, first heavy-duty truck. Uh, let's put on a flatbed for it. We need two service modules, so a flatbed would be enough. There are sideboard bed. Might as well match the color. And there we go. This is the... Wow, what's that sound? Sounded. It sounds so grindy. It's horribly, horribly grindy. Now this isn't too. It doesn't have a race suspension. It has a stock suspension. And that's it. The thing is, um, it has a higher wheels. I think it has 47 inch wheels. Uh, so it should sit the car just a bit above. I'm not sure if it's better or worse than having a, a suspension, a race suspension, but I guess for hauling and uh, balance reasons it would help having, you know, a lower profile with, you know, bigger wheels, so I think that's an improvement. So yeah, as a heavy duty truck so that's, you know, meant for some of road, but at, at its base it's meant all things from point A to point B. I guess this is a better truck than uh, the Fleet Star. We still have to upgrade it. But I can imagine, yeah, we're, we're talking uh, in the last episodes about the uh, specialization of trucks because, you know, the first trucks are meant to be like uh, all rounders. But as you go through the ranks, it should be able to, it should start to, you know, peter out in terms of it can do everything. Wow, this is quite fast. And yeah, that lower suspension is hitting everything, the tiniest bit of rock. Uh, so where are we going? Um, this way. If I would have known, I would have totally delivered the pipeline things first, but I just didn't check the contracts. And I didn't see any, you know, tasks on the actual map next to it, because I would have totally done it. This uh, pipeline. Not too shabby. You're as fast as an avalanche. I hope you won't get caught in a real one though. Real one though. That suck. Yep, it would suck. In any way, shape, or form, I kind of would have wanted to have like a little, you know, cutscene here, of, like the, you know, the bridge getting built and stuff like that. But oh well. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, recover the cr this truck. Actually, no. Let's. Uh, Let's refuel the Fleet Star from uh, this from its tank. Uh, source, not the Fleet Star, Caterpillar. There we go. Fuel it up max, doesn't really matter. And let's re recover this. And then we can go back to the map and pick up the Fleet Star. Let's uh, winch this. And let's go get ourselves a hammer. The goal for us in this map, in the reason why, we're, why we are in Alaska, is more
more or less to get the upgrades. Uh, trucks are nice, but I would want the engine upgrades for most of the trucks. That's what I care about. And they, those can be found in Alaska. Technically, if I'm moving to another map, I could entirely you know, start in Russia and get the Russian things. But I do feel, and I, from what I read, that they are very strong, and I kind of don't want to drag them in to, like, you know, Michigan and stuff. But maybe that's just me. Let's just deliver this. Ground Hammer. Mark is very grateful. He'd appreciate it if you'd keep Tales of the Lost Hammer to yourself. Here's your reward. Oh, wow. Did we not get the Hammer? I swear I saw it. <gasps> no. No. Oh, actually we did. Cool. Room. Oh god, this is what 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 even was that? Oh yeah, that was probably ice. So I guess it's smart that we actually came in here with uh, chain tires. I didn't I never ran in Alaska without chain tires, but I guess if that's the effect it has on tires, it's a good thing we wait until we had chain tires. So, let's recover this. Let's uh, check out what it can do. Of course, everything is entirely locked off. It has a much stronger engine than we would have on uh, like the Chevrolet. It can use the off-road uh, suspensions or the off-road gearboxes. We still don't have the race suspensions, of course, it's Alaska. We have an option for chains, that's great. Uh, winches, nothing we care about, just a spare wheel, okay. It has an engageable all-wheel drive. Trunk mounted fuel. Oh, it has rear mounted fuel, that's pretty cool, giving that low center of gravity. Uh, and it has a tall snorkel eventually. Okay, cool. Um, sure, maybe we'll play with it at some time, but honestly, I've been put a bit off from uh, from uh, scout, scout trucks. Let's just uh, sell it for the moment. We don't really need another scout. And we'll re re buy it whenever we uh, need it in the future. Okay, sell it. Yes. Uh, and now... What should we be doing? Let's let's just bring in the Fleet Star. It's been out in the in the muck for a while now. Let's bring it back in. And let's have a, have a look at our trucks here. So the ro let's also bring in uh, our base star. Let's uh, retain this just so we have them side by side. And bring it out. So, engine-wise, uh, these do use 8V 2300s versus 8V 31s, but it doesn't exactly compare one to one. But it is an A part weight ratio on this. Again, annoyingly enough, our suspension is still somewhere in Alaska, the race suspension, which also prevents us from using Hmm, you can actually use the 46 inch tires as is as an off-road truck. Hmm. Okay, as for this, we do have the option for the off-road suspension, the gearbox. I keep calling it the gearbox suspension, I don't know why. Uh, this is somewhere in Alaska. So this comes, this can get up to 51 inch tires, right? With upgrades. So this is pretty sweet, and it has an A plus power to weight ratio even with the stock engine. It would be fantastic with the upgraded engines, right? So yeah, for sure this is a future off-road truck which would replace the, the Fleet Star. Uh, because at this point the Fleet Star with its 46 inch wheels are... And we still haven't reached the old chains, I think, uh, chained tires for this. Eesh. It's really weird how we got most of the upgrades for the Fleet Star before all the upgrades for the Pace Star. And I mean, these are upgrades which directly influence its off-road ability. The Fleet Star, for a great 
period of time was a bit off-roaded in this, I imagine, with the upgrades that we currently have available. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and 240 liters of fuel. The problem with this was it didn't have a differential lock. But I'm hoping we can just power through with the more powerful engines. But since we don't have any of those yet, uh, we, there's no real reason for us to actually... Um, or the race suspension for us to use bigger tires. There's no reason for us to actually use the Royal BM17 right now. So let's uh, retain this and let's also sell it. We can rebuy it if we need it. Uh, as for the Caterpillar, uh, let's go customize. It's an S part weight ratio versus. Uh, okay, so they're pretty much evenly matched at this point. Uh, the only real difference, we have a uh, differential lock, okay, engageable, right, it's active, Do we have all-wheel drive, we have an all-wheel drive, uh, we do have, let's put on a loading crane as well, that's the stock, oh wow, the loading crane is so heavy, holy snap. So it comes stock as an S. Okay, so these are more or less uh, evenly matched. Fuel consumption is B plus, B plus. Uh, I guess the only difference is uh, tires because this is stock at 45 inch tires and that has 47 inch tires. Uh, do we have a suspension for this? Uh, no, we still have the stock suspension. Oh, well, there is no better suspension, right? And 47 inches are the max tires for this as a heavy duty truck. So we can consider this to be pretty maxed out at this point. Hmm. Either way, uh, let's check out the map and see what we are doing because I don't want to keep you guys uh, waiting. So we have a single exit here. Uh, let's check the map. That's probably. We should have two exits. I'm not sure exactly how, what's the deal there. Where's the other exit? There should be an exit to one place, an exit to another place. I wonder whether it's not unlocked yet? Maybe. Hmm. In any case, uh, let's uh, get ourselves up and out of here. That sounds great. We have most of this unlocked. Let's, I don't see any other upgrades. Let's just scroll. Oh, actually we do have an upgrade. And there's a trader store here, so we can totally uh, refuel here. So yeah, let's uh, head out for this upgrade. I'm not sure what's the best route for it from uh, the garage, but probably, okay. I don't know why this is like that. A little bit bugged, but it's fine. Let's uh, we can totally get this oil tank and take it here and then accept the quest, I guess, and then uh, instantly have it uh, complete. We are still trying to do some of these on the on uh, the road there if we can. And you know what? Let's uh, let's take the Caterpillar. It's a new truck. We have seen so much of the uh, Fleet Star by this point. I think uh, it'd be nice to switch to a different uh, truck. Uh, there isn't much in terms of upgrades here. Let's get some fog lights. Uh, do we have any? Okay, this is a bit higher, so I'd rather have that one, so we don't have any problems uh, hitting uh, elevated things. Okay, we don't care about cabin protector, we're real men. Uh, let's stick with the, the stock ones and the rims we don't super care about. Let's just get some uh, nice uh, chunky ones. There we go. And the color is very important. Uh, I'm not too big a fan of the simple line trim, so we'll probably pick a straight color. Uh, 
Mm. Let's go for this tan or whatever color this is. I'm a guy, I don't know any colors. So yeah, let's take this out. The engine still sounds so growly to me. Switch, please. Let's go full out. We just need to get up there. So, 280 liters of fuel should be just enough. Wow, this is fast. You won't see it from any of the stats, I guess, but this goes fast. And this is on the off-road gearbox. This is not on uh, the basic balanced gearbox. Is that is that a semi? Is that the semi? Because we don't have the low saddle for it. No, it's not. It's a regular trailer. That's good. Okay, why are you in three out of four? This is not a, a third gear kind of situation. Okay, let's uh, see if that's the quest itself. I don't think so, but it's possible. Let's try not to get horribly stuck. Alright, so this is the actual quest. Uh, so we've got the gas station that needs gas. Big surprise there. I needed to get the tank of oil over there. Deadline was, of course, the day before yesterday, so get on with it. Okay. By the way, rewards. Is that a car listed as a reward? Huh. Interesting details. Does it show me anything? It just shows me. Opera truck is recommend. So, is that a recommendation? It's listed on the. No, it's not. That's a different icon. Okay, if we get a free truck, that'd be sweet. Let's uh, grab this and take this out. That wouldn't have worked, but come on, attach. Still too far away, sure. There we go. Let's take this out. Ooh, easy. Let's see if uh, auto does a better speed through this. Think so.
yeah, I guess uh, Alaska was all fine and dandy when I was not hauling trailers or cargo across it. But again, uh, my like of snow, it's definitely, at the very least, you know, you make progress through it, through it. you don't end up just uh, stuck without any ability to move through. some speed out of here. pristine white snow head. Okay, let's use the switch because that's why it's there. Actually, winch beside of the trailer here to uh, that solid tree. Just uh, push us through. Oh, did that tip over? Why? Oh, because I was pulling it, I guess. station here? Did we have it marked? No, we didn't have it marked. Huh. Apparently the watchtowers actually don't watch everything, so you need to do a fair bit of uh, manual scouting in this map. So is this the actual quest? I don't think so. This is a different quest. Should I just bring it here? Uh, no. Okay, I'll check it out in a second. Let me refuel and we'll see. Oh, I need to bring it here. Okay, sure. You did good. Sadly, I'm due an ear bashing for my boss for late delivery. You never wanted this job. It's a family business and there was a lot of pressure from... <laughs> I don't want to hear this. Here's the pay. Okay, thanks. So, let me use your facilities, let me stop the engine for a minute, and yeah, let me check abandoned supplies off, 
off-road truck is required. So is this a trailer or what is this? Oh, so it's a curtain side trailer, but... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're reaching the 40 minute mark anyway, almost here, and I think it's about time we close this up. Uh, either way, we'll, next time we'll probably be checking this out, uh, getting see if we can get this uh, trailer out, and we need to deliver it to the polar base, which it is exactly on our road because we want to get this upgrade. So let's deliver that, get these quests on the way as well, get that upgrade, do all that good stuff, and see where we are after that. Either way, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, do all that good YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, each of that, each of those things actually helped me out a lot and um, it's just nice to see. Uh, also, we, if you really like this uh, calm like content, again, a comment down below would help. I know I'm not the only guy that's uh, tired of uh, spazzing out uh, Let's plays. In any way, shape, or form, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.